105. Tina Smash here. We are live at NotFest 2014 with Jesse from Kill Switch Engage. Hello. Come on down. Uh, <laughs> he is saying that for those of you, obviously, who can't see because this isn't video, that he has a Bar Bar Bob Barker microphone. So it's actually a little <laughs> thicker than what he usually uses. But is it? How to, yeah, really? Have really you use. held his microphone before? Wow, that's a personal <laughs> question. I declined to answer that question. I mean, you seem to yeah, know all about it. <laughs> uh, well... As you may or may not know, because he publicly says this many times, Adam D's hero in life is Bob Barker. Why is that? Because he's a really strange person. Yeah. Not Bob Barker. No, no, no. Adam. I know Adam okay. is, but so we love gonna, that about yes. him. He's very strange. Yeah, he's one of my best friends, and I still don't understand everything that's going on he there. He spilled a beer all over me today on stage. He like came over to side stage and like did this crazy little dance thing. He probably it did it on cool. purpose, too. Probably. And, and, and like played good. it off as if he was doing it by mistake. <laughs> Listen, so Disarm and Descent, you guys are getting ready to wrap up your uh, world tour, I guess. It yeah, would be coming no, up in November. Yeah, yeah. You guys had quite a year, huh? Yeah, it was crazy, man. We hit every continent except for Antarctica. I've done more traveling this past year and a half than I have my entire life. It's Do you incredible. enjoy that? I know I it's probably it. like a lot. It's really it hard, I'm sure. It is a lot. It's taxing on my family, my marriage, yeah. all that. But man, it's been an experience. Yeah. I'm sure, no yeah. doubt. So are you going to do the Metallica thing and do the Antarctica? Hell no. <laughs> it's too cold. Nobody's, <laughs> nobody's trying to go to Antarctica. Unless you have like tons of money, you ain't going to Antarctica. Right. It's not worth it's it. It's just scientists there. Yeah. They don't care about us. So I know that you have a gazillion things going on. Like, I'm, I thought I was a busy person. Mm. You are so busy. Well, Jamie Joss is busier than I am, so. You know what? This we'll is probably true. Him. He's the mayor of busy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you are so busy. So, like, you have so much going on right now. Now, yeah. are you going to take a break? No. I know you guys are probably going to work on, not. I don't mean take a break with everything, but just with, like, are you going to start working on a new album? Or are you going to take a little bit of break from Kill Switch and work on your other side projects? I'm doing all those things simultaneously. When do you sleep? At night. <laughs> Next <you> question. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, when do you find all the time to do everything? My, my philosophy, honestly, is do as much as you can while you're alive and healthy. Like, yeah. my health could go. Like, I don't know if I'm, when I'm going to die. Like, I'm not trying to be morbid. I'm actually being positive. Just do as much as I can while I can do it. And, and what you while, enjoy. And while, like, people still even give a damn. Yeah. You are doing, like, a, um, and forgive me because I cannot remember the name, but it's a reggae side project. And yeah. you did it's, a cover of Mazzy Star. Oh, uh, yeah. I freaking Be love. Be still my heart, Mazzy yeah. Star. Oh. She's amazing, right? Yeah. I love her. And you did a cover, and you did it very uniquely. Yeah. In your own way. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to cover, you might as well do it uniquely, right? I mean. What, ma like, what made you pick Mazzy? That's one of my favorite songs on the planet. I'm a, I'm a big sucker for that 90s sort of alternative gothy, like Cocteau Twins, The Sundays. Like, I grew up dating a punk rock chick, and she made me a mixtape with all those groups on it, and I'm, I have a soft spot for it. Yeah. That'd be fun to, like, just mix it up and do something different with it, you know what I mean? Yeah. So more of that to come, but not just reggae. Like, I'm going to do rock and roll. I'm going to do some punk stuff. I got a Minor Threat cover coming out soon on a 7-inch compilation. I just don't want to be boxed in. So my solo yeah. stuff is going to be anything but metal. Do, anything but aggressive. Do, do your fans of your metal scene, do they embrace that? Or some do, they do, find some it don't. Weird? I get hate mail, like, yeah. you know, but like, good. If I'm pissing somebody off, good. Yeah. Because I'm being an artist and being true to who I am and... If you don't like it, I, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care, honestly. I know that um, you have a blog and you, do you answer, because you tell people, email me. You know, yeah. Do you answer all of your emails? I get hundreds of emails. Um, the only ones I answer are the ones that I feel I can handle. Some of them are pretty intense. Um, now, how do you handle I, that mentally uh, as a person, as a normal human hard. being? I'm sure it has to be that you get probably... I've had people who are suicidal write me, yeah. and it's like, it's a burden on my heart, and my wife has to talk me out of it, and like, it's hard. But I put myself out there because I care. Yeah. So I do the best I can to answer, and the ones that I feel are really, like, intense, it's almost like a legal issue if you get involved. Right. So I try to well, be careful. You kind of have to take it as a compliment, though, that people are coming yes. to you for support and for some kind yeah. of answers and, you know, for something. You know, so they're, they're reaching out to you for yeah. something. Everybody's searching for something, yeah. that's for sure. So, I mean, if your music, what, whichever project it is, can influence and help somebody yeah. in a positive way, that's not a bad thing That's why I'm still doing it, you know? Like, I mean, with Kill Switch, you know, we're all jokes and we have fun on stage and all that, but, like, Deep down inside, like, I take it very seriously. Yeah. Well, you have to. Yeah. I wouldn't still do this at my age if, if I didn't care that much. Yeah. I really wouldn't. <laughs> so does it still get to you? Like, so I saw your set earlier today and um, still, at, you know, and I've been doing this for 
12 years in radio, whatever, and it still blows my mind sometimes. Like, I get just amazed sometimes and, like, almost choked up with chills, like, the crowd. And they're singing along. Yeah. And you get out there, and you're yeah. with them, and you're connecting with them. Do you still get that feeling like Absolutely. when you first started? Oh, yeah. Uh, I get nauseous before shows. I get the chills when I'm on stage. I have moments where I'm not joking. I don't care what you think, people who are listening. <laughs> I get tears in my eyes sometimes. Like, it's real to me. And I do my best on a nightly basis to be present to those emotions while maintaining my technique and my voice. I don't crack, but sometimes I do. Yeah. And I love that because I'm being myself. Yeah, but it absolutely I'm not shows. numb. I'm not a rock star. I'm not somebody who's up there like, worship me. Like, it's not about that at all. It's never been. So, um, yeah, I think I'm still in it for the right reasons. Yeah, and that's what makes you... Um, so good at what you do and that's why you have such a huge oh, fan that's base nice. because you are I would call it good but thank you that's nice. <laughs> I'm honest at least <laughs> alright so I know you don't have a lot of time so we're going to wrap this up but uh, what can you tell me about Kill Switch are you guys going to work on a new album then Absolutely. are we looking forward to the next year year and a half or are you going to take a little bit of break like what What do you have no no on? break no break we've, we've had enough of a break um I mean, two weeks is the longest we've had a break in the past two years. So two months, is which we just came off a two-month break. We're all ready to get going. So I've actually demoed some stuff myself. Mike started demoing stuff. Um, so I'm actually going to contribute musically, I think, if it's good enough. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but we're ready to go. So we'll see what happens. Well, one thing I love about you and the band is that you guys are always being very creative. Have to be. Love it. I love it. Yeah, I have it to keep you guys alive, yeah. and you're just well. That's what you do. That's who you yeah, are. Yeah, I'm a writer. I, I yeah, I, I paint. I do video editing. You do poetry too, right? Did poetry. Yeah, I'm actually yeah. getting ready to do. Um, it's funny you say that. I'm actually getting ready to do a poetry thing in Australia. I got hired to DJ over there, which I DJ too. Well, I knew that. Yeah, I'm doing a hardcore punk DJ night, and and for two weeks over in Australia, and then I'm going to be doing. Um, I don't even know what we call it. Is it a symposium? What the hell name? I don't know. I don't know. I'm doing a whole thing on songwriting and poetry. I'm actually going to be reading some of my own poetry at this thing. Does that terrify you? No, not it's at something all. New? No, I no? love it. I not love at it. All? I love it. So let me ask I think you... I'm a poet first and foremost. So let me ask you a question. And so again, me... I don't care if you hate that I'm a poet. <laughs> I know it's not metal, but I don't care. Nobody cares. They're not going to hate you Nobody for that. cares. So, they will. So if someone were to hire you for a DJ gig, <laughs> if we brought you into to our town, do you do like the metal scene? What kind of DJ is it? My is preference? It is it no, I'll tell you. My is preference it? is old school dub, reggae, and punk. But I we can, might have to bring him in. But I can do anything from death metal to R and B, like to sixty soul to neo soul to whatever. I love all music. I've done a ska night, whatever. Yeah. Well, awesome. I think that we might have to bring you in, maybe to our town and I do mean, a, no. a DJ night and tear it up. So. As a woman with stilts walks <laughs> by with a demon mask. <laughs> and on. this is not. And we're at not <laughs> This is Jazzy from Killswitch Engage. Thank yeah. you again. Thank you, everybody who cares.